Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we got Gunslinger Elysium Suicidal Endless. Please just give me the Lore Sanctums Arena. I beg you. I beg you. I don't ask for much, but merely the world. What, what's, the, what's, what's the one that I say? I forget how, I, I forget how it goes. I, I, I kind of refined this. I used to say it uh, more frequently, and I, I kind of refined it. I don't ask for much. I, I don't ask for much, only the world. Is that is that how I said it? I feel like I had a more like pish posh kind of way of saying it, you know? When, when you're trying to say something like that, you want to make sure that you sound as uh, verbose. Well, not verbose, but um, oh god, what's the word for what's the word for like somebody who uses big words? Can't remember. Um, you know what? Screw that. We're going for the M1911. Waste of money, but like whatever. We'll we'll play something a little bit different. It's endless, dude. We have all the money in the world. Um. Anyway, anyway. Uh, I forget. I forget how it goes. I I, I ask not for much. Merely the world. I don't know. Like, I, I had a good way of saying it. I think that might have been it. It also might not have been. I've been reading... Uh, I've been reading... So yeah, I kind of go on uh, this kick with... Um, with reading. Uh, I'll go for... Like, I'll have a period where I'm obsessed with, I mean, it's kind of like this fixation thing that comes with autism, really, but, um, I'll have a period of time where I'm obsessed with, uh, like, romance manga, and then I'll have a period where I'm obsessed with, um, like, Isekai, but, uh, like, the comedic kind of stuff, and then I'll have a period where I'm obsessed with, uh, the more like gritty kind of isekai, and uh, some something more like um, Azerinth Healer, which is like you know she's OP as hell and destroys everything, but it, it does also kind of it's it's a little bit graphic, it's a little bit you know learning and and uh, character development and stuff, you know. And then I'll have a period of time where I'm I'm obsessed with the just I just want you know I want OP as hell dude who has no conflict well not no conflict but like is never in any danger and just destroys everything you know like that kind of like power fantasy that's what I that's what I want and right now that's what I'm on I especially love the uh, the like not zero two hero but zero like zero butt hero you know. Where everybody thinks they're trash. Like, well, you can't do this. You're a zero. You can't do this. You're only a villager. You can't do this. You're, you know, you're that. It's like, oh, you, you're really gonna like try. You're gonna, you're gonna try and do that. You stupid little weakling. You know, like that kind of stuff. And then uh, it turns out they're actually like the strongest person in the world. But they just like don't tell anybody because like, hey, whatever. Like, I could kill you if I wanted to. But like, you're just not worth my time. Ooh, baby. Um, and that's what I'm kind of on right now. Is is that kind of a, is that kind of a kick? Ooh, spooky. I love I love it right now. I mean I always love it, but uh, right now that's the kind of stuff that I'm like, yeah, that's that's the best genre, you know. And it really depends on like manga updates, because if. Uh, if 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 Hori Mia gets an update, then I'll probably end up being obsessed with romance manga again, just because like that's my favorite romance. And uh, if I end up like reading, well, if it gets an update, that's like really really good, you know, because it's had a few updates, but they they haven't been the best content. Um, if it gets an update that's like, oh yeah, that's that's the good stuff right there. Then uh, I'll, I'll probably end up being obsessed with the romance stuff again and be like, I just I need more of that fluffy, you know. But uh, 
in, instead, I guess what happened last was uh, some kind of power fantasy thing that got updated, and I read, and then I'm like, yep, I need uh, I need all of that. I need all of it. I'll take um, all of them, please. So it's uh, yeah, but it's um, it's, it's good fun. It's good fun. I enjoy reading them. It's it's a nice time waster, especially when I'm like lying in bed and kind of relaxing after a day of relaxing. It's nice to to be able to lay in bed and, and read a bit of manga or something and kind of just chill out. Let's let's actually pull the lever this time. Yeah. Thank you. Pulling this lever may have consequences. The lore master knows. He knows. I'm excited, dude. We might get it. I hope. I really, really hope. I'm not gonna. I have like hiccup burp things. They taste like ginger. I'm not going to turn in the roses if we get them, if we get that map, because I think that it's just going to add to the list of maps that we... Hello! How are you, sir? It's just going to add to the list of maps that we could get, and I don't want to do that. I really just want specifically the Lore Master's Sanctum. Where are you? I don't know. We'll have to play it a little bit safer here, I guess, perhaps. You know what? You guys don't actually have to die. Congratulations, you live today. I'm making daddy angry, dude. Too bad daddy's dead. Too bad daddy's dead. You guys ever played Who's Your Daddy? It's like this uh, really weird like hide-and-seek game. I'm trying to pull my shirt out from my butt. Not my butt crack, but just it's like under my butt because it's a really long thing. And as I lean forward, it kind of like pulls on my neck. It's very uncomfortable. But uh, Who's Your Daddy? It's like this weird like physics game kind of thing where you play hide and seek. Um, you have a baby and then you have a daddy. And it's, uh, I say competitive lightly. But uh, you have, um... Does the lighting just change? Did it just go from, like, orange to white? Um... Hello. But you have, uh... No! Uh, you have, you have the, the daddy and the baby, and it's, it's this competitive, like, PvP kind of game. Um, except you don't actually attack each other. In fact, you specifically... Well, the dad kind of attacks the kid. It's just that the kid also attacks the kid. Um, so as the baby, your goal is... You're, you're playing in a house, like in a... You know, suburban... You know, affluent... House. <laughs> yeah, like a big yard, a pool, a shed, tools, cars, you know... Paint and everything. And uh, as the child, your goal is to kill yourself. And as the daddy, your goal is to make sure the kid doesn't kill yourself, or doesn't kill itself, um, before the mommy comes home. And then, together, you know, you can work together to make sure the kid doesn't kill each other. And, uh, at that point, you can actually, like, get stuff done. So, like, as the, uh, as the daddy, you just have to start, like, plugging up the electrical sockets and hide the bleach and lock the oven and stuff and as the baby you're trying to like get a fork and stick it in the electrical socket you're trying to stick yourself in the oven and turn it on you're trying to like lock yourself in the garage with the car on and um you know do all that kind of stuff it's a fun game it's a really weird game for sure it's it's definitely a a weird game but it's 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 good fun my sister and i play it every now and then and uh Honestly, I it it's it's a fairly well balanced game. Um, the uh, it, it's buggy as heck, but it, it's a fairly well balanced game. If you're good at the game, you will win, whether you are the child or the uh, or the daddy. 
And if you're bad at the game, you'll probably end up losing. Um, but... There are so many ways for the baby to kill themselves that uh, you kind of have to be good at it in order to get the baby to not die. And you can kind of... I think that the daddy has tasks to do as well. Yeah, so the, 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 the daddy has tasks to do before the mummy comes home too. You have to like get the, the bedroom cleaned and um, like do stuff like that. To, and then the baby tries to kill itself while you're doing that. You can't just like stand in front of the baby and then get the baby not killed. Uh, what you can do is you can like pick the baby up and then like, kind of like if you had a baby, right? You can pick the baby up, take it to the room where you're going to be doing the cleaning, and then uh, do the cleaning. Watch the baby and if it moves or whatever. Um, then you can kind of go from there. So typically when I play against my sister... Um, I'm not, I'm not very good as, as the baby. No, I'm not very good as the daddy. So typically if I play as the daddy, um, we be, why did I sell that? I don't even know. If I play as, if I play as the daddy, I'll typically, uh, go pretty even. And then, uh, if I play as the baby, I, I, I generally speaking win. Um, I find it fairly easy when you're playing as the baby to kill yourself. You have so many options available, and as the as the as the uh, as the daddy, it's a little bit tricky. But I think it's a fairly well balanced game. It's it's good fun though. It's good fun for sure. It's fun as the the baby to try and like find new ways to kill yourself because there's there's a lot of them. There's a lot of ways to kill yourself as the baby. You can, like, drown yourself in the pool outside. Boil yourself alive in, like, the shower. <laughs> like, there's a lot of ways that you get to take care of stuff. So it's a weird game. It's a weird game, but it's it's a fun game. I kind of put it in the same category as, like, golf with your friends. Where uh, if you have somebody to play it with, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. If you're playing with randoms, it's, like, a garbage experience. But uh, if you have uh, if you have like friends or family to play with or something, then I think that it's actually a fairly enjoyable experience. I I, I would recommend, and I think it's pretty cheap too. So it's 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 pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't know, bruh. All I want for Christmas is the Lore Master Sanctum, the Lore Master Sanctum, the Lore Master Sanctum. All I want for Christmas is the Lore Master Sanctum. You guys excited for Christmas? It's in like 12 days. You guys celebrate Christmas even? I don't know. Like a fairly big part of the world just like doesn't celebrate Christmas. What, what kind of weirds me out is there are parts of the world where it's like summer right now. You know, like there, there are parts of the world where, uh, like, a, a whole half of the world, really, where it is, uh, it's sunny and warm and beautiful outside. But it, it's still December. That 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 part weirds me out. I had a, I had a I had a friend who um, was saying. You be dead. That uh, the the southern hemisphere of the world should just, and they live in the southern hemisphere of the world, so they're allowed to say this. Um, they said that uh, they should just like flip the months so that like summer and winter in the same months, and then immediately they're like, no wait, that's stupid. I'm like yeah, uh, can I come visit you June second? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, which June? If only there was a way to know. We should make like a calendar where everybody uses the same day on the same day so that we know what day it is no matter where in the world you are. We should have some kind of standard for that. Now there are 13 new standards. It's the next KCD for everything, dude. 
I think about XKCD as I talk all the time, because I, 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 on this channel, I, I talk about some programmery kind of stuff on occasion, you know? We were talking about the, the like, Terraria memory manipulate, or memory kind of stuff in the last episode, and a few episodes prior, even. Um... I talk about some programmery stuff on, on occasion, and when I do, I, I oftentimes have a, an XKCD that kind of pops into my head. I'm like, yeah, there's that. Even, uh, we were talking about, you know, how one thing is easy and then adding another thing is hard. When I was talking about the memory, I forget what I was talking about, but there's an XKCD for that. There's an XKCD for the whole, uh, thing I was just doing, where I was like, you know, there's 13 new standards. This next case KCD for that, where, uh, you know, somebody's like, man, there are too many standards. Yeah, we should make a standard so that everybody just uses that one. All right, here you go. Now there's 13 new standards instead of 12. And it just kind of continues expanding as everybody's like, yeah, I can do, I can, we can just make all of it. We can take all the good things from all of them. And then, you know, people are like, well, I don't really want to use French. I like Latin. And then you just kill all the Latin people. Not the Latinos. I mean, Latin-speaking individuals, okay? We're allowed to kill them because they don't exist. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of bullets, dude. Take some nades. How do, you, how, do you, how do you like them apples? Those were terrible throws. I don't know if you noticed, they're terrible throws. There's, there's some bullets somewhere, right? So, you know, it's because we I, I sold that stupid M1911. That's why I'm out of bullets right now. Yoink. This will be okay. Beautiful. I knew it. I trusted. it. I didn't doubt it for a moment. Uh, not a single second of my life was I like, I don't know, are we going to have the bullets for this? No, I was confident. Good water, dude. I mean, most water is pretty good water. I'm a fan of water. There are people out there who aren't a fan of water. And to those, I say... It's okay. You don't have to hate yourself. I don't know. I was going to try to make like a self-deprecating thing on it, but... You know, because we're like 70% water. Like, I, I, I maybe, maybe with, with a bit more time, I maybe could have come up with something a bit funnier. You know, maybe, maybe like, uh... Oh, don't beat yourself. I don't know. I, I, sh I should have gone with something like, don't beat yourself up so much or, or something. I don't know. Kind of, I kind of butchered it, though, right? Kind of, I kind of ruined it. Took a good thing and I made it better. Is that how it goes? Is that how it goes? So apparently one of you guys has uh, told me, I was close with Audrey, it's Aubrey apparently. Aubrey? I don't know. One of you and you all told me that the door over there is apparently useless and I've been panicking and obsessing over it for no reason whatsoever and I'm kind of a big dummy. I'm paraphrasing of course. Specifically I believe that no nothing was mentioned about uh, the door it was just me being a dummy. I'm kidding, of course. I wonder what these balls are for. Like, just, just, what's the practical use case of these balls? You know? Just, just from an engineering perspective, why are they there? Because they. No, this is this is kind of bothering me, because they they are attached there, but they don't seem to be attached to this chain. There isn't like a pulley or anything, right? There's no pulley or anything. They're just attached to this structure. Why? They shouldn't be doing anything when it's already like anchored down through these uh, things, you know. I have no clue. Why are they there? 
Because this, this seems like it's a... Like this section? No? I was thinking that this section looks like it can maybe spin, but those are anchored down on the sides. So they shouldn't be spinnable. The top part definitely can't spin because it's anchored down over there. So like these big hands that are holding it up over there. And then over there is... I tried to hit C to zoom in. Uh, over there is like an, a, a ruined town or something. Over there is just anchored into the forest. There's like a castle over there. Um, but I don't know what these big balls are for. Because they shouldn't be able to move. They shouldn't be doing anything structurally. Um, there isn't even a... There's only the two of them. They they shouldn't be acting as like a counterbalance or anything because they they're equal on both sides. So removing them is still the same weight. So there, there's no counterbalance kind of stuff happening there. Um, why are they hanging? What's what's the purpose of them? I don't know. What are what are these even for anyway? You know, and in the first play, yeah. What are what are these for? Is this like um one of those weird like floating things? Why is there a why is there a chain on this one, on that one, on on that one, but not one on that one? I don't know, dude. It's got me really confused now. It looks cool, but I really just, practically speaking, from a from an engineering perspective, I don't get the purpose of the big balls. I don't, I don't understand it. They look cool, but maybe, maybe that's their purpose, is to look cool. They look intimidating, like they're gonna fall on my head. But there's no, like, release system for them, you know? So they shouldn't even be able to fall. Unless those chains break, but I'll tell you. Okay, I think I think people oftentimes severely underestimate the strength of chains, of chains, of ropes, of anything like that. I think people severely underestimate how much weight a chain like this can hold. <gasps> We've done it, dude! And it's an easy wave too. Let's go. Let's go. This is a weird looking place though. What is this? Is this the lore master? I don't know, like this this place looks cool. What are these things hanging for again? Maybe they just maybe they're like runes. Maybe they're, uh, oh, what's, what's that, uh, I'm thinking of, of One Piece. They, uh, they run around the world looking for, like, these glyphs, these big stones. I can't remember what they're, they're called. These aren't, like, modeled after those, because those are more like big stones. These are big tablets. Do you guys see the problem here? Do you guys, uh... Can you, can you see the the problem with this? I hope you can. So we follow the chain. Kind of goes up and around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Kind of goes up and around. And then this one comes back and, like, it just kind of disappears. I don't know. I think it might be... Yeah, this, this could be realistic, I guess. So I think it, no, because it, it does go back up into there. It shouldn't be doing that. That's weird, dude. That's weird, dude. I want, I want to, I want to appreciate this area first, okay? I, 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 I thought this was coming out from more like that area, and I was about to not come look at it. it looks a little bit sickly. You walk through him, yes. Can't activate anything. It's a neat looking arena, but it, do it doesn't look like there's there's much of of interest here. All these stone tablets should be the same kind of bottom lefts. 
Yeah, they're all the same. They're all the same. Maybe dip. Maybe. Mm, yeah, I think that's just perspective. I thought that one looked a little bit smaller, but I think it's just perspective. Other than that, it's a very symmetrical room. You look at one corner, you got all of it done. It's just this dude here who's like spinning around. Let's look at his butt. This is the lore master, hey? Wouldn't it be cool if you're able to like fight this dude though? It's too bad they can't really do that for a, for a map, hey? That'd be like a cool addition though. Maybe that's what they'll do for KF3. Maybe they'll let you have, uh, no, that one is smaller. So maybe they aren't all the same. Yeah, this one's longer. And that one's wider. Hmm. Okay. And there it is. A Christmas Carol has been completed. I knew I could do it. I tell you what, though. Um. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh. Suicide. I don't really want to play Endless, and I really don't want to play on Elysium. We played enough Elysium lately. It's I don't like the map that much. Okay, we just <laughs> had to do it because we needed this stupid thing, and we have it. We can do uh, more stuff now. We might. We'll have to like actually make new thumbnails. I haven't been doing that. I've just been using the 467 one because I'm like, hey, whatever. When I get like a different map, finally, I'll just make a bunch of them and then just update all of them. So we'll have to do that in the next episode. But that's gonna do it for today. We got a ton of gunslinger XP. Just a casual 16,000 Gunslinger XP. No, 20, 23,000. Just 16,000 from just this. Which is like what you would have if you didn't have Prestige. But I do have Prestige, so I get the extra 8,000. But, you know. Nifty, dude. No damage for dealing with any weapon. That's weird. Only for killing clots. Huh. I guess you only get Gunslinger weapon damage. Or this one, but whatever. It's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.